Hi everyone, and welcome to Teacher Ivan channel, where we cover English grammar, unit by unit. In today's elementary video, we will talk about how to count the uncountable nouns. Before we start, you should understand why some nouns are countable and some are uncountable. Countable ones are basically nouns that can be counted. We can say a student and then three students or an apple and then ten apples. So basically, every countable noun has a singular and plural form. Countable nouns have articles a and an in front of them in their singular form. They also have the ending s in their plural forms. These things are unique for countable nouns. Now, uncountable nouns cannot be counted because some things in the English language are seen as a mass or as a whole. Think about water for a minute. Water is everywhere. If you turn your sink on, the water will start running. Well, not actually running, that's just something that we say. And water can run like that for a very, very long time. And because it cannot be separated into one water, two waters, that makes it uncountable. However, we can put that water into some type of a container. If you don't know what the container is, think about what you usually use to drink water from. Stop the video and think about at least two containers for water. Hopefully we have the same answers and the answers are a glass and a bottle. And if you fill them with water, they become a glass of water and a bottle of water. And since these containers are countable nouns, we can start counting uncountable nouns. You can ask your mom for two glasses of water for you and your sister, for example. Or you can ask for three bottles of water at your local shop. Notice that we add the ending S only to plural countable nouns and the uncountable noun water stays the same. If everything so far was clear, let's try to do a little exercise. You have to stop the video and connect these uncountable nouns with their containers. Let's see if we have the same answers. A glass of water, a tin of soup, a bag of sugar, a bottle of shampoo, a carton of milk, a jar of honey. Also, some uncountable words can be tricky to understand because they look countable, but they're not. For example, bread and chocolate. Yes, they do look like something that you can count, but in the English language, they are treated as uncountable nouns. So right now, you're looking at a loaf of bread and a bar of chocolate. You can also divide these things into smaller parts. Now pause the video and try to guess how we call those small parts. Let's see if you were right. 
a loaf of bread can be cut into two or three slices of bread. And here, most people cannot eat the whole bar of chocolate, but they can have a piece of chocolate. And there you go. That covers the basics of counting the uncountable nouns. Congratulations! You survived another lesson. As always, don't forget to do your homework. You can download the PDF file from the link in the description of this video. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, but above all, learn. Bye, guys!